Welcome to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School, where we explore all kinds of things, stories about quilting, tools, field trips, maybe some famous quilters stop by, and of course, a little bit of copyright thrown in just for fun. I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard, your host. I'm a law professor at Tulane University Law School. I also have two fellowships now, one at the Business School, a LePage Faculty Fellow, and one at the Newcomb Institute, the Greenbaum Fellow, fellowship um, both at Tulane. And I- So today we're talking to Gudra Ur- Urla. Um, you may know her from Stripology. She also had this gargantuan sew-along um, recently, um, which was um, a huge hit. 16,000 people came to her so along. Um, she's starting a new, um, she's starting a new Strip Along 2020 um, that starts tomorrow. So we talk a little bit about that. She is fun and interesting and amazing. And um, her website is gequiltdesigns.com where you can find more information about Strip Along 2020, Stripology, and all her products. My name is Gudrun Erla from uh, GE Designs, and I'm located in Minnesota, Minneapolis, ah, Minnesota. Interesting. And um, we also asked this other question, um, usually on, on our show, which is, um, tell me your first memory of someone sewing or quilting in your life. That was when I was in elementary school, and nobody in my family quilts, but I had a friend in school that her mom was a quilter so that is my first memory of seeing quilts and that's when they kind of intrigued me all the all the kind of shapes how they came together to create secondary patterns and all that so that was kind of cool so I thought to myself I'd like to learn how to do that when I'm old and are you old now are you older than elementary school now I guess. I guess so. Since I've been quilting for over 20 years, I think I'm old. <laughs> so tell me what your quilting life is like now. Well, I've been a professional designer, uh, publisher uh, for 20 years. Started off uh, owning quilt shops, and that's where I started designing. And and uh, then the design part of it brought me here to the United States, which is, um, I'm born and raised in Iceland. So interesting. So I've been, I've been designing full time for, since 2003. Interesting. And your website is GE, uh, quilt designs. Yes. Is that right? Okay. So yeah. tell me, tell me what's going on in your life. Why are you so busy right now? Tell me what's going on. Well, I, I, I should say I'm always busy. Yes. Um, yeah. And I, I teach and travel year round internationally and nationally. So I, when, of course, this virus was starting to be imminent, I had followed it pretty closely since my family's all in Europe. And I kind of knew that we're going to have to deal with it here at some point. So I had this big teaching trip to South Carolina scheduled for um middle of March or early, early March. And I was really kind of, it was just, the talk was just getting started and the cases were starting a little bit in New York, but nobody was really doing anything, shutting anything down. But I was really kind of concerned that because things were changing on a daily basis. So I actually made the decision to cancel that trip just because I was concerned with, of course, most of our quilters that we have in our classrooms are at that, you know, dangerous age that is, right, totally. you know, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. and, you know, for me traveling through multiple airports to get there, including Atlanta, which is the busiest one in the world, yeah. it was, you know, I yeah. didn't want to be the one to, to kind of, uh, expose anybody right. or anything like that. So right. I decided to cancel them. Then of course, like just three days later after I made the decision, you know, things were starting to cancel everywhere. So it would have been canceled anyways. Right. But I kind of felt really um, bad up before the people that, you know, I had scheduled seven days of classes. All of my classes were full. It was a, w- one of the events was a once a year gathering of a state wild, statewide quilt guild. And so I thought I need to do something that, you know, brings people together, brings quilters together and, those people that were supposed to be in my classes all week could maybe get a little hint of that. So I put together this quarantine quilt along, which yes. is a full, was a full day of quilting. So I 
I designed a pattern for it that was exclusive, was free just for that quilt along. It's available now for purchase. But uh, since I've been doing live videos and live shows from my Facebook and YouTube for a long time, we were already set up with the studio and everything. So I went live five times throughout the day where I demonstrated you know, parts of the pattern and then actually had other designers on with me live and and kind of just checking in with people uh that whole day that it was a sunday and um it just kind of exploded both before we had the day and then after it's just was a fabulous day we had a 16,000 quilters that is incredible right we did yeah. you now have are those the kind of numbers you've seen on other events is this a normal thing Absolutely for you absolutely not i don't think anybody has i yeah we were you know, people have been talking. This probably is a, a Guinness World Record in the number of quilters working on the same pattern on the same day. That is so, so cool. But you know, there's no way to prove that to right. get it in the record books. But it, 37 countries, wow, 37 different countries, and it's amazing. We were all doing this together, and now all of the quilts I called uh, the quilt pattern was called Elvira. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like just that. kind of a little pun on the virus right, and, but it's right. like it was a day for me to get people's thoughts off of all the stresses that we can't control in the world and just get into our happy place which is our sewing rooms and have some fun that's amazing um, sewing together and that's so amazing. now they're all all the quilts are kind of uh coming on facebook and everywhere and just incredible incredible work and it's really fun to see that's really cool now, how hard is it to? So, I want to I want to ask a few questions. Like on in the background, like how much effort and prep is it to get this ready to do an all day? Like you've you're already an experienced teacher and um, you're very accomplished in terms of what you write and who you are. But tell us, like, if you you're going live all day and, and checking in with mm-hmm. people, sort of, what was your thought about that in terms of prepping for it? Well, prepping for it, you know, the prep before all of it was, of course, me designing the pattern and and in a really, really short time, writing it, uh, testing it, getting some step outs done. So that was, you know, just busy, busy, crazy, busy. But also, you know, people were downloading it from my website. And and when you have this, this many people, there's always questions that needs to be answered. You feel like you're answering the same question over and over again. Where can I find this? Where can I do this? And this is not working, right. all this stuff. So, um, customer service, when I'm just, you know, a small business at home, that, uh, that was challenging. Now, the day itself, of course, I was prepared and ready to go. But um, I went live every two hours for about 30 to 50 minutes each time. Yeah. But yeah. the time between the live sessions w- was, of course, uh, busy in uh, answering, answering emails questions. and questions. Right. You weren't messaging. sewing. You were answering questions as people were sewing. Yes, so, yes. Right. So I was nonstop. Uh, it wasn't until after the fourth one, I actually did a little bit of sewing. I finished like five blocks, but <laughs> it was really good because, you know, we all know that as quilters, even though it's a profession of mine, it's still a hobby. And once you just get that sewing machine humming it's it kind of eases away all your all your stresses and your anxiety and it just is the best therapy oh my goodness I just I can't believe 16,000 people that just now when did you realize that it was becoming a thing well I you know I didn't because I didn't get get the pattern to go live until the day before I didn't want it um in people's hands until right before because otherwise I would have been answering questions on the pattern the whole week so um, I also didn't want people to go ahead and get ahead of themselves so it really worked out well um so I didn't really know I just saw uh because we encourage people to sign up for my newsletter and then I have a a group on Facebook that people were joining so I could kind of tell by that that you know it was going to be bigger than any sew along that I've ever done And, uh, but we really didn't know, I had some members of my group trying to figure it out. They were trying to let people just comment, um, just state your name and your state when, if you're participating. And I think they got up to about four or 5,000 comments on that, which was really good. And I thought it was going to be fabulous. But, um, once the, the pattern went live for download, we could 
actually see how many downloads. How many downloads, yeah. Yeah, because people had to put in their names and, you know, their addresses, even though it wasn't shipped or anything. Right. So that was really good for us to kind of be able to get that data. Right, um, hugely. That's yeah. just crazy. So now I have to follow it up. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to follow so, it up? Well, I am. I So we, on my, in my group on Facebook, it's a closed group called Gudrun's Crew. Every year I do a, what I call a strip along, which is kind of just a more fun, right. <laughs> fun. Right. Than Cause your stripology is like your thing, right? Yeah. 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 So I just designed the stripology rulers and I've designed strip patterns using two and a half inch strips for many, many years, way before the rulers came out. So every year I pick an older strip pattern and we do a strip along where I kind of give them tips on using the more newer tools like I stripologize the patterns and then we sew it together in steps. So, but that's like, we do a step every week. So, um, but you know, I give them a lots of extra tips, just like I was teaching a class and of course can answer questions. So I decided we usually, I usually do this in the spring. So I decided to move it up. So we're actually starting tomorrow, um, Friday during my, uh, Facebook awesome. live always on Fridays at 3 PM central. So, we're starting it off. So that's why we've been really busy with uh, getting orders out for that. That's craziness. So if people are listening and we're going to post this today and they're like, I want to know this, explain what stripology is in case people don't know. And also if they want to join tomorrow, how do they join? Yes. Yeah, so the stripology ruler is a slit cutting ruler. So made by Creative Grids. I designed it. it first one came out five years ago. And then the newest one, which is the stripology XL came out just last year. Uh, year so it's been out for like six months um it's it's just um it's a slit ruler so that it makes all of your cutting go a lot faster whether you're cutting strips or sub cutting into squares and rectangles it becomes one of your basic tools um so not only so you place your ruler on top of your fabric and then you kind of just cut through the slits versus moving the ruler every time you're you're making a cut yeah. And so it's um, safer. The slits will keep your cutter in place. So not only are you so much faster, but you are so much more accurate because every single cut is going to be the same size or, you know, yeah. every strip you cut, every square you cut. So it's just kind of revolutionizes the, the way you do things. Um, so it's uh, once you're, once a stripologist, you can't go back. Got it. <laughs> and it looks from, um, I think I've seen it and we've chatted in person at, uh, at uh, a quilt show, but um, it's really looks easy to read. I think that was oh, yeah. really nice about it is that it's clear and, the, and, and not, these are, these kinds of things are not always easy to use, but it looks like it's very right. clear from what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I have tons of support videos both on my website and on my YouTube. And speaking of how people can get information, so on my website, geequiltdesigns.com, um, there is, I have a blog button. So whenever I have an event, I always do a blog post of, and that's where you can find all the information, where you can find links to everything you need to know or need or would ever want to, um, to have or order or or anything else so anybody wanting to get information that's a great way to start to start on the blog and then of course if they want to join if they're on facebook you can join uh, my group awesome. group and, and so uh, you're encouraging them to get the ruler can is the pattern do they uh for the uh for the thing that's the strip along 2020 <laughs> can they start without the ruler or do you oh, need yeah, the yeah. ruler so to begin I'm if they want to begin tomorrow and they don't have the ruler what do you suggest? Yeah, I actually, I always give them options of different tools for this particular pattern that I'm doing this time. It's um, it was written for a 60 degree triangle ruler. So, so that could definitely work. Um, but if you have the stripology original or the XL ruler, you can, you can use those and don't need any 60 degree uh, ruler, but you can use a 60 degree uh, triangle, 60 degree diamond ruler. So I will give you um, options for different for different rulers for sure. And I give demos on that too during the quilt along. So that's, really that's all great. included in there, what you need. Um, I never say you need the XL ruler because, or stripology rulers, because they, you know, they, they are uh, pricey, but they're an investment um, that comes back to you a <laughs> hundredfold yeah. because you use it a lot, but I, I, I don't want to ever pressure anybody into doing it, into having to have certain uh, tools. However, you will need the pattern. And what I always do with the strip alongs, I discount the pattern. So it's half price 
Normally it's a $9 pattern. You can get it both in printed and in PDF download. And so normally it's nine dollars, so now it's four fifty. That's um, great. That's really reasonable. Book. And you can take mm-hmm. a look at on your blog. So again, go to G as in girl, G E quilt designs.com. And if you go to the blog, is that the picture of it of what you're making in it? Oh yeah, yeah. If you it's go to the so blog, cute. There's a book it's down. it's kind of like uh are those those aren't those aren't hexagons, right? Are they hexagons? Yeah, no, well, they're... they are They are hexagons, but we don't do any, there's no Y seams, nothing like that. It's very simple. So. It's very cute. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I really do sure. wonder how you make it. It looks very interesting and challenging, and I bet you've mm-hmm. got secrets to make it not so horrible. Oh, absolutely. It's awesome. pretty straightforward. And then what I also do in the strip along, so you see the pattern cover. I always choose to do myself. I sew along with them. So I choose totally different fabrics that I used for the cover of the pattern. Very but I cool. also give them different options. So there's going to be some different layout options that I give them just as a bonus. Yeah. That is not in the pattern. So uh, so different versions. And that's always really fun. Um, Very a fun cool. option. So we'll see some versions. Well, this is, um, you're such a pro and you know what you're doing and it looks really fun. Um, it doesn't look overwhelming, and if people are looking for a project to do or to try a stripology, now if they order it, can you get it to them, or is that a problem now, or are you can you are you still shipping things out? Uh, we are shipping nonstop, nonstop. Really? Um, but but the pattern is available as a PDF download as well, so, so you can, can get, get started. It. But if you decide that you want some of the um, yeah. the the ruler the or other things, you sell other. You even sell. Do you are you selling this as a kit or? Uh, no, but we do sell some fabric. So we sell some one yard cuts on the website and some bundles of fabric. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're, we're a small business just out of my home. So, so, uh, the whole family now, it's kind of nice that the college kids are home. Yes. <laughs> they are being put to work. So we're <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yes. We're u- utilizing the whole family. If the dog could, uh, pack some boxes he would be oh that's very funny (laughs) now were you part of am i right were you part of the splendid sampler book were you part of did you yes i was yeah tell me a little bit about before we go tell me a little bit about that experience oh that was really fun you know it's always (laughs) interesting when we do a compilation book like that um or any book that uh through a, a book publisher the work happens so long before the book comes out so um, normally, you know, you work on something and then the book comes out a year later. But th- in this case, because they did this, the sew along with it, it was kind of fun. We, you know, once after we submitted all our stuff, that wasn't that long until we started um, working on the sew along. So in the block. Cool. So it was, it was really, and then when yeah. you designed your block, did mm-hmm. you have any, did, was there any directions of like make a, applicate like did you just know you just did whatever kind of block you wanted to yeah yeah and that's kind of what's cool because we have all kinds of designers that, that like different things so you kind of want to do something that you know kind of goes with what you normally do in your design work or in in your using your techniques your favorite techniques very cool yeah. and then in terms of copyright did, did you sign an agreement like did you give over Sort of how did copyright work on a compilation like this? Did you did they have a contract where you signed over the, the pattern to them or sort of how did that work? Yeah, I think it's I think probably compilation books and art and the contracts are different between companies and between projects for sure. But usually if it if you're doing something with a publisher, uh, in general, you uh you write you give over the the copyright at least for a certain amount of time right right i don't remember exactly how this one was but usually it's a for a certain amount of time and then um and it varies sometimes most times i think the rights go back to the designer uh of and then sometimes sometimes the publisher keeps it but it's right, it's different right. every time. this is why I, I i prefer to self-publish so yeah and do you do that with your books with your stripology books you're usually doing self-publishing yes, yes i yeah. so i prefer to self-publish um i've i've written 21 books wow and uh i believe 17 of them have been self-published that's amazing we're just mm-hmm. uh starting to self-publish we've done five of our legal diy books um, mm-hmm. and it's been really gratifying and so freeing to be able to do it the way you want to do it. And the time frame yeah. is your own, which I think is well, really Well, as great. a designer too, uh, you know, quilt designers, when you, 
because I do as probably many of us do. We do everything. I do. I do all of my writing. I do my illustrations. I do my layout. <laughs> I do my editing. I do. I do it all. So it's it's really great to be able to have your finger on it from the start to finish. Of course, I do have I do have copyright or uh, proof readers and testers, but. Um, but the great thing about that too, is like, once you ha are happy with the look of it, I just send it to the printer and I have my book in hand within a couple of weeks versus yeah. a year. Cause I always also print, uh, locally, I print in the United States. So that's what's, um, what's really good about it. So you can get a product out much faster. So insanely cool. Well, I think we need to have a long conversation at some point, <laughs> like when we're not yeah. stressed about everything in the world do you think that you're yeah. after you finish the um 2020 do you think you'll do another day-long event do you think or that... uh you know what my brain is always you know brewing out something and i i think i will i think i will i will it will might might be look a little bit different from what we did but uh that day for people was so absolutely awesome yeah. you know to, to have a day where you can even though you're alone and isolated because you know a lot of we have a lot of quilters that either live alone um or just live with their pet and so being under quarantine it gets really isolating so yeah i i'm really pushing the idea of that we're all in this together and just if you're in your sewing room and you ha just are thinking about the fact that you have thousands of quilters in their sewing rooms sewing the same thing that you are it just you feel that camaraderie yeah, hugely. And, you know, I think I mean I think that's kind of the homemade mask thing is as well right like we're all yeah. doing that and that's really interesting right. I just think this looks well, like was, so yeah, much what fun was cool too is like the live session and what was so cool is um the live sessions brought people together those who were able to watch that and you could comment and 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 kind of check in on others and you can really actually feel that camaraderie and, that's really cool um, I love it I love it it's yep. so cool it's so awesome what you're doing is so great and I feel like you're lifting people's spirits up and that's super important at this time um, yeah that's always my yeah. goal some fun it's so awesome I love it. Um, well, thank you so much for coming. I know we're doing super quick interviews to just to get them up and mm -hmm. out. Um, again, your um, go to uh, G E D Quilt Designs. If you go to the blog, you can also learn see the picture of um, the Strip Along 2020 that starts tomorrow. It runs mm -hmm. Friday for three weeks, um, yes. and it looks really fun. Um, so thank you again. I really do appreciate you coming and chatting with us. It was so great. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it very much. And you're you cool with us posting day. this. Do you need to review it before we post? No, I think, I think it sounded great. Awesome. Okay. Fabulous. Hold on. Don't hang up. So you've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. And I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard. If you like this podcast, keep listening. Also, we have a Facebook group. Come join us. We talk about a lot of things. We also have an Instagram account. And of course, most importantly, I really hope you get a chance to quilt today.